Oops. I am out of spell components. Forgot to manage my inventory properly. Either that or I set them down somewhere. Hmm. I'm not a noob. Noob. Nope. Alright. Uh, what was the goal here? Oh, his last badge. So you can just jump over there. I'm kind of tempted to show you how to do that, but... How to just run that part, but... Eh. Okay. I think I should put a disclaimer up that this is a free account and therefore I should not... Do not... Will not be using any... Put it in your uh, description. Mm. It does seem like people keep talking about it. But, or, or you can put it in your rules. Your chat rules. <laughs> Pops up every time someone tries to type in there. Just be like, guys, come on. Stop it. Whee. Did you guys seriously trigger a trap while I wasn't even around? You guys are dicks. One of the good things about traps though is that you can kite enemies through it and get them to kill themselves without doing much of anything so long as you're fast enough I love you too Had to process. I expect you to just do this. <laughs> nah. The whole world's allowed to know. Hmm. Just trap them in the doorway. More things to kill. Thank you. What? Missed. Hmm. If the ranger build works out with built with the uh, blues uh version of the game about doing that next? Yeah. Hmm. Can't do that. Alright. You know, just to avoid taking damage here. Alright, so now I'm about to show you what to do if you want to quickly Switch weapons. Put them here in the weapon set. Put them on over here. And then I want to use my wand. There we go. What is behind this locked door? The other way looks like a dead end, so we'll go that way first. Hello. Um, shouldn't there be a guy here? There's a chest. Maybe it's two chests when there's uh, the rare. It's fine. I don't mind. So this key is for that other door. If you don't feel like picking it. We need to go this way anyway, so... Uh, 
Ah, you guys murdered him quick. A named cloak. That only gives me a one will save. That is not the most useful thing in the world. Well. Come over here. Oh, that's right. Uh, last. Uh, last stream, we had uh, Gok, one of our loyal viewers, come online and join us, and tested whether or not you needed to put your tiny ingredients bag your tiny green bag away before you needed to, uh, before you could talk to... What's her face in the 12? Yeah, what's her face in the 12? So that they could give you a small ingredients bag, which ups your thing from 12 to 30, I think? Oh, you cursed me, you... Turns out, no, they're different sizes, which I did not know. So yeah, they... I suggest doing that well before I have done it, but, you know, if you're watching this now, you probably already passed it, so. No, if you're playing along. Yeah. I can't believe I got cursed. It's such a dick move. You guys are supposed to kill witches first for this reason.
Negative four to attack rolls. Alright. I've shown you the long way. Or the short way. I'm gonna take the long way. Thank you. They seem to like my bow knight more. So that's fine. There we go, we picked up his badge properly this time. Done. How many quests in total? Yep. Sorry. Um, are we counting every time I redid it as one quest too? Have you done multiple quests multiple times since you started streaming this time? Oh. Yeah, no. I've been running around destroying everything. I'm not aiming for speed. If I was, I would have already jumped over a box and cut out half of this. so that I didn't have to deal with it. <sighs> but you know, whatever. Uh, guild Renown. Guild Renown allows you to level up your guild. Uh, you earn it by completing quests and I believe challenges. Um, you can also get them as a reward for completing quests uh, by talking to the person and at the bottom there should be an option that says Guild Renown that you can click on instead of any of the um, armor or weapons that they offer you. But it does not always, does not always show up at the bottom of these things, so. Also drops in the chests. Uh, apparently it also drops as loot in chests that you find, so 
looking for chests if you want to level it up will be helpful. <laughs> Still don't need feather falling. I think I have a move that at least six, but I might grab that anyways because I don't see anything else. Actually, I take that back. I might take this. Uh... Nah. I'll take the move silently just in case. Because I really want it. Full plate we can't use, docents we can't use. We're not using bolts. We want to keep that expeditious retreat one, but it's not full, so we usually get rid of it. Well, we have move silently six, so we don't need this move silently four. So we can get rid of that. These are collectibles that go on the bank. Speaking of. Cat's Grace, Owl's Wisdom, Fox's Cunning, Strengths. First slower. Can you pass me my water? Ah, uh, yeah. If I get a um, soul guard item, would I be able to store it in that soul bag that that lady sells right there? No. No? That is unfortunate. You put the, uh, the gems that it drops when it procs on some monster. You put those in the soul gem bag. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. Yeah. So they can go in there? Okay, cool. Alright. We need to stop by the marketplace so we can keep summoning our um, little dog. So let's stop by the banker first. Yeah, 12 to 30. Get an action point and a level at the same time. I've never seen that happen before. Nice.
information about the auction house because this took me a bit to figure out because I mean either because I'm slow or just because this is weird so let's say you're looking for a tome if you click on it nothing shows up so just type tome now it says no items shield type shield if you're looking for a specific type maybe spell it right Uh, use its name um, and then something will show up once you hit enter um, what what category would be would an orb be in shield maybe So this is a way to upgrade stuff. There is another option for the thing called the shard exchange, but this requires you to spend more uh, real money to get a shard, and then um, you're basically paying real money for everything else in the shard exchange. So what I was doing was looking at if there was anything worth spending our plat on. Because we have a limited amount of plat anyway, so... Yeah. That's all there is. It's not that much. This one has nullification. That might be good, right? Yeah, that causes your negative energy spells to crit. That includes your uh, death aura. So, yeah, so once I do this, I bought it, um, you can bid on it and wait, uh, you have to detach it, and then now it's in your inventory. So, take this out. Are you actually able to afford something out of it? Yeah, I got something real quick. It was only for 2,000 flat.
Uh, yeah. Or if I switch them, I still get single weapon fighting. So we're gonna get rid of that one and keep this one. What happened? With me. Ah, slowed you down. One, two. All right. So now I'm gonna get all this stuff dealt with. Like I said, love being in a guild entirely for the one reason that I can just do everything in one spot and then teleport to the closest location to the thing that I need to do. It's nice. I also get buffs, so. Yeah, those are nice. Double check buffs. Notice my health went down when I did that. And then it immediately fills back up. It's part of the fun. Okay, uh, P. Okana. Oof. Mark place then. 